Hey guys, welcome back to another Monster Jam Firestorm video. Today, we have one of the last videos of the year. Every year, I do a top 10 Spin Master Monster Jam trucks of the year, and today, I bring you guys exactly that video. Now, I'll welcome the 2022 top 10 trucks for Spin Master Monster Jam. We're going to be starting off with the number 10 spot and going down from there. Coming at number 10, we have the Red Primer Grave Digger. Now, you guys might be wondering, why would I put the Red Primer at number 10 when they actually made a lot of other good releases? So, this truck would have actually kind of not really cracked the top uh, 10 if it wasn't for Excalibur being on the list, but I couldn't get Excalibur on time. So, these are only the top 10 trucks of the year that I have so far, and I will not be showing any trucks that I probably will normally have put on the list. So, yeah, at number 10, we have the Red Primer Grave Digger. I love this truck. This truck has a very big history. Um, in my collection with the muddy tires because I used to own the Hot Wheels Monster Jam uh, Red Primer mud truck but there's a huge story behind it where a friend of mine gave it to me and he took it back from me and we traded for a while because we wanted to see um, what the truck looked like so I wanted to have his truck his Red Primer Gravedigger for a while um, and then he gave I gave him my Gravedigger 30th anniversary so when we wanted to change the trucks and switch them back to each other Mine, my Grave Digger 30th Anniversary did not get backed in my hands. It actually got destroyed, and I had to give him then his Grave Digger back, even though he didn't give me my truck back. And since then, I've always wanted to have the Hot Wheels Monster Jam Red Primer Grave Digger with the mud tires. And now I have a Spin Master version, which looks as cool as it did back then with the Hot Wheels one. I love this one with the um, black chassis here. Charcoal chrome gray and yeah, everything just fits well with this truck I love the truck and mainly because of the history and that's the number 10. Well, th that's the truck for the list Number nine we have the skeleton zombie or as people are calling it the uh, Zombie vs. Hunter zombie. This is a very cool truck. I love it a lot I love the design here on the hood the hood is probably the part that really gets me uh, to like this truck a lot more and a lot of other trucks. Um, yeah, it has the purple clothing, the zombie logo, and just looks pretty cool. I don't know what to say. It's just a very cool truck. I love it a lot, and I'm very happy that's been master made. Sub zombie, another new zombie to add to the zombie collection fleet of monster trucks. At number eight, we have the one and only Dragonoid, uh, Darkest Neo Dragonoid. So we did get the Aurelius Dragonoid uh, last year or whatever, and now they brought the Darkest Neo Dragonoid to the scene. I love any truck that has the black color. I love the color black. Um, I love how dark this truck is. I love the colors that match the purple and green. Match the truck very well. And it's just a very fitting truck, a very cool looking truck, very sleek. And it just looks really cool, and that is why this truck is where it is at a number eight on the list. So yeah, there it is, the Darkest Neo Dragonoid. Number seven, we have the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. I know this truck was released last year, but it got revealed in a double pack again, and that's why it's in on this list, because I love this truck a lot. The Monster Mutt Rottweiler with the new casting. The casting looks phenomenal. I've always loved the Monster Mutt Rottweiler truck, and now to finally have an accurate-looking casting with the great-looking um, rim and B-lock setup. This is one of the best uh, Rottweiler die-casts ever in history, and I love it for that. It looks incredible. I love the fur pattern on the truck, the new ears, the tail, the stubby tail on the back. We have uh, the graphics on the side, which just looks incredible, and mainly just the B-lock and combo setup here on the bottom. With those black rims, um, with charcoal chrome rims, um, gold bead locks, and BGA printing makes the whole truck set up um, a lot better. And I think this that's just the reason why. It just looks so good and definitely one of the best trucks of the year. So yeah, there it is, Marshmallow Rottweiler with its new casting. And number six, a truck that people put in their top five, Lumberjack. Yes, guys, Lumberjack is on the list. Incredible truck. I love it. New casting. For 2022 and yeah just incredible i love it very nice independent very happy to have more independence on in the uh, die cast lineup for spin master and lumberjack was definitely a surprise for me uh, this year and i'm very happy that they made it see so, yeah, here's guys lumberjack i knew about this truck since like last year sometimes so it wasn't the biggest surprise when i saw it uh, on the poster but this is definitely one of the coolest trucks ever i love the 3d casting with this uh wood on the back with the uh, pipes and the uh 
just just everything about this casting is incredibly casting in general is just the main reason why I love this truck. Yeah, just incredible job, Spin Master. Nice truck right here, Lumberjack, and definitely one of the top trucks of the year. Now, number five, a truck that would probably be striking um, a lot of controversy for this top five. Son of a Digger, purple. Love the truck. I, I don't know. Son of a Digger is my favorite truck in real life, and just seeing now a new paint scheme for it finally is incredible. Um, I really do love the new paint scheme for Son of a Digger, the purple edition. It just looks cool. I love it. Um, the way it looks with the graphics on a purple body. It just makes the graphics pop a lot more. And the grill looks incredible as well. Just everything about this truck is just really cool. And I love the new addition of Son of a Digger to the fleet of Son of a Digger. We have the purple rims. And yeah, it's just incredible truck. And I'm really happy that Spin Master made uh, this truck. And yeah, that's the reason why this truck cracks the top five. At number four, I've not unboxed a lot of the trucks that are in the top five. So now at number four, we have Monster Mutt. Yeah, this is just... Incredible Retro Rebels. I'm very happy to have uh, Monster Mutt in the lineup. Uh, I love Monster Mutt. I did see this truck run in real life, and I'm finally happy they're making the new Monster Mutt uh, Mercury casting. It's incredible. Probably one of the most accurate castings Spin Master has ever made in die cast, and it just looks incredible. Um, with that new tongue, the front end looks incredible on this truck. I love it. It looks really, really good, and I just love the detail that they put into this casting. One of the best castings that Spin Master has ever made. And I gotta applaud Spin Master for the uh, attention to detail on this truck, on the casting work that they did. And yeah, very cool truck. Love it a lot. And there it is, guys. Number four, Monster Mutt with the Mercury casting. Number three, we jump to a very old classic truck. Very, very noticeable for the Hulk Monster community. And everyone loves this truck a lot. Boogie Van. Yes, guys, I had to put Boogie Van number three just because of the nostalgia and just because everyone likes the truck and people would have probably hated uh, my top ten list if I wouldn't have put Boogie Van this high. So, yeah, Boogie Van number three. Just a new casting, first of all. First of all, new casting. Second of all, it is a beautiful paint scheme, a retro truck, a truck that we haven't seen in diecast ever and just very, very cool to see. So here we go, guys. We have um, Boogie Van. With that new amazing looking casting. Really close up shot right here. So we have the back end. We have everything just perfectly accurate. Um, the front end. I mean this is inspired casting. So they couldn't really do the like better job at this. But it's still a very good job nonetheless. Very nice attention to detail on this truck. Very cool to see that front end with the eyes on the top. And of course that clear purple color. With the huge windshield and everything. So yeah, there it is, guys. The number three spot, Boogie Van. And number two, a truck that probably strikes no surprise to a lot of you. The Split Paint Job Avenger. Yes, I did put this at number two. This was the most challenging. Number two and number one. I did not know which truck to put at number one or which one at number two because they're just both incredible. But, I don't know, it's kind of hard i might have to put this one at number one that's because we also have avenger fire i don't know which one to put at number one which one at number two um yeah i'm just gonna say both of these are number one and number two spots i must i, I just can't I, I really cannot decide i feel like this is definitely uh, this was number one um at the beginning of the year when i first saw the poster but yeah this is probably the number two so number two here is avenger fire Amazing truck. I did get this um, not too long ago. So yeah, Avenger Fire and number two. I'm just going to call it number two for now just so you guys have a truck to number off on my list. So yeah, there we go. Avenger Fire and number two. One of the best trucks with that silver roll cage. And just, yeah, the overall body is perfect. So that's why this truck is at number two on the list. And number one, of course, Avenger Split Paint Job. Yeah, I'm just going to say number one. A number one Avenger Split Paint Job. Incredible truck. I love the attention to detail they put on this truck. Just incredible work. I'm very happy. Of course, not that accurate to the real life one, but still very close, and I love this truck a lot. Um, just perfect. Yeah, and the front end is mainly what gets me to say this is number one. The number one truck. That front end, I just it's not getting old. That front end is incredible, and yeah. 
Beautiful truck. Great job, Dispin Master, for the Avenger split paint job, and of course, the Avenger fire release. And yeah, number one on the list is, of course, the Ev Avenger Avenger split paint job. So that'll do it, guys, for this list. I'm very happy to bring you guys a top 10 uh, video again this year. Um, very, very challenging uh, list to make, seeing as I just could barely even decide what truck would be number one or number two. Um, but I think it's now very clear to me which truck deserves that number one and which one deserves the number two spot. So yeah, guys, that is the list, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a lot. We're on the road to 1,100 uh, subscribers, and I'll see you all in the next Monster Jam Firestorm video, and here to, uh, hopefully 2023 will be a better year, and I'll see you all next time this Monster Jam Firestorm, signing out, goodbye.